Hello Pythonistas on YouTube, welcome to another video where we are going to talk about how to mine your posts, your own Facebook posts. So after introducing the Python Facebook SDK with a simple example, we will now start digging into the data mining opportunities. So the first we are going to do is to download, download our own posts, uh, that is the post published by the authenticated user. So this is the script. This, it connects uh, to the graph API and gets a list of posts published by the authenticated user me. The posts are saved in my underscore posts.jsonl file using the JSON, uh, JSON lines format that we have already uh, talked about in earlier uh, tutorials about when we started to mine about mining Twitter. So this the script doesn't take any command line parameters, so it can just uh, run this simply with the just Python and the name of the file. This script provides an interesting example of pagination as the list of posts is too long to be collected by a single API call. Facebook provides the pagination information. The, AP, the initial API call performed with the get connections method returns the first page of posts stored in posts uh, data, as well as the details needed to loop through the different pages available in the post paging part. As the pagination functionality is not implemented in Python fa Facebook SDK library, we need to fall back by using the requests library directly here. Fortunately, the response provided by the graph API connect contains the exact URL that we need to request in order to get the next page of posts. So in fact, we if we inspected the value of the posts, uh, this statement variable, we will see the string representing the, the precise URL to query, including the access token, API version number, and all the required details. The pagination is performed inside while true loop, which is interrupted by a key error exception when we reach the last page, as the page will not contain a reference to posts, uh, to this post paging next. Uh, trying to access this key uh, of the dictionary will erase the exception with the only purpose of breaking the loop. So once the script is executed, we can examine the contents of my post.json L file when you run it and you let me clear it. So you run it by just executing this command. I already run it. So let's inspect this file. It's a huge file. So each line uh, of the file is a JSON document which contains a unique ID the text of the message attached to the post and the creation time in the ISO 8601 format. So definitely check it out. So just like the get object function from earlier examples, the get connections uh, function can also take a fields argument in order to retrieve more attributes of the desired object. So this script refactors the previous code in order to get more interesting attributes of our posts. So if you, uh, so if you run it, I've called the, the JSON L file for post two, just to make the distinctions between the, those two. So it gets more uh, fields. So all the fields that we want to retrieve are declared in the in the da, 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 the all fields list, which is then joined in a string of comma separator at, attribute names here. Uh, as the graph API, API requires, this value is then passed to the get connections method via the fields keyword argument. So that's it uh, for this.